So most of us already understand that alcohol can be very damaging to the brain. But let's get a little bit more specific and maybe this will help you kind of decide how often you should be drinking, what is too much, and as far as how often is okay as far as when it comes to drinking so you're not hurting your brain and things that you should be thinking about when you are drinking of how that can be affecting your brain. So let's go ahead and get started right after this intro. Welcome back to my optimal mind. How are you doing? Today we're going to be talking about how alcohol can be affecting the brain and we're going to get a little sciencey today as far as how it can affect your brain and how much you should be consuming to keep your brain safe from harming it too much. But before we get started, if you are looking for further guidance as far as having better focus attention and be able to have an optimal mind, I have a free training in the description below that you can check out. All right, so let's talk about first the very obvious thing when it comes to alcohol is for one, alcohol, when you're consuming it, on average, it's about seven calories per gram that you are consuming when it comes to alcohol beverages versus your typical types of calories are usually about four grams, sorry, uh, four calories per gram. So it's definitely, you're going to be consuming more calories as you're taking alcohol. It's what we call the beer gut, things like that, that when it comes to consuming alcohol. And then on top of that, it causes more issues with fatty liver when you're over consuming on alcohol. Now, I'm not here to argue about the, whether, you know, alcohol is good because there's studies on wine that tell you that good heart health, all these kind of things. There's definitely far other better ways to be able to help improve your health and your mind. But just to be safe, what I always recommend with my patients is, you know, having alcohol a couple times out of the week is fine. It's when you start getting to when you're having alcohol beverages daily, a couple drinks a day, that is when we're starting to get to a point where we're starting to consume too much. Because what happens in the brain is studies have shown with alcohol consumption, especially on a daily basis, it does affect the neurons specifically the cerebellum. So the cerebellum, if you've ever been drunk or whatever, that does affect our sensory, it, it affects our balance, it affects our uh, our speech. So that's why you, when you are drunk, those kind of affect the cerebellum quite a bit, but it also damages neurons in the process. So there's been plenty of different scans of people who have been uh, consumption of alcohol, of how it affects the brain and parts of the brain where there's restricted blood flow. So that becomes an issue over time. So if you really want to have an optimal mind, I would say try to cut back on your alcohol, keep it to a couple times out of the week and not a daily thing when it comes to alcohol consumption if you want to have an optimal mind. The other thing that has been shown with alcohol consumption, it does interfere the absorption of vitamin B1. And so vitamin B1 is really important with uh, basically the process of building our neurotransmitters. And neurotransmitters, as you know, are really important for basically brown, our brain chemistry, our brain power to be able to function, to have better focus, attention, better mood, uh, better energy even in that sense as well. So making sure that understand that alcohol does deplete us of some vital nutrients that we need for our brain. So that's something you also need to kind of keep in mind. The other thing is also alcohol does cause peripheral neuropathy over time. That can be an issue as seen in definitely lots of studies where it can over time. If you are consistently taking lots of alcohol over throughout the years can cause peripheral neuropathy, which does affect our nervous system. And then of course, obviously going back to the brain. The other things that it does affect with the increase of alcohol consumption, it does cause disinhibition, which that desensitizes us, which is not a good thing, especially if we want to have an optimal mind. We don't want to become desensitized to our surroundings so that we can be more aware of our surroundings. It also disrupts sleep. When our sleep is disrupted, we do not have an optimal mind. We, our brain does need sleep, and when we are too high amounts of alcohol, that can disrupt our sleep and that becomes issues as well. But also on top of that, alcohol, anytime you, you wonder why, why they always serve beverages before you have your meal, especially alcohol beverages, because what alcohol does, it also increases appetite too, because what happens, the alcohol quickly turns into sugar and they also share, share you with bread. You wonder why they give you bread? Well, that bread turns quickly to sugar, increases appetite, and therefore you're going to have more food. But on top of that, you're going to have that dessert, especially when you have alcohol in your system, 
all these different carbs and sugars increases the satisfaction, the serotonin levels, because that's what sugars and stuff do. So it increases those, those serotonin levels to have that happy pleasure and wanting more reward, wanting more food. That's why they do it in restaurants. They're very smart. This is why. And so you probably went into a restaurant and you're thinking, okay, I'm not going to have a dessert. Then you start getting alcohol in your system. You start having the bread and all of a sudden you start to have the dessert. And you're just like, and then the next morning you're regretting it of having that, you know, dealing with a hangover, whatever it might be. And you just feel really crappy. So that's another thing that also alcohol can affect with your decision making which can lead to bad choices with your food choices, but also even bad decisions when you are taking too high amounts of alcohol because it is destroying those neurons in your brain and specifically the cerebellum and parts of the brain as well for decision making. So if this is not enough for you to understand that alcohol can be affecting your brain, I'm pretty sure you're already coming into this new that it does affect your brain, but probably hopefully by now, you're realizing how much more it is impacting your brain. So hopefully you make some better choices when it comes to alcohol consumption. So remember, you know, a couple times a week is fine. It's when you're doing it daily, especially a couple times a day of alcohol beverages. That's when it starts really start deteriorating the brain and causing issues over time. And so that's something you just have to keep in mind. Now, if you're looking for a better focus and attention, and have, have more of an optimal mind, I have a free training in the description below that you can check out and watch that. So until next time, this is Dr. Legrand signing out, and remember, you have an optimal mind. Thanks, bye.